to Oli Pondoyak and Steve Horvat sees a depleted lineup for the night's sternest test of the season. But a player who is on show today is 18-year-old Mark Viduka. He's making headlines both in Australia and South America as well, where he top scored in an international tournament last month playing for Australia. Matching Viduka for youthful enthusiasm is Josip Biskic, now 34 years old, but playing with as much zip as ever in the Knights midfield. Another unchanged lineup for South Melbourne as they catapult up the table thanks to a combination of weekend and midweek catch-up fixtures. Potential goal scorers in most positions, but it's midfielder Steve Tassios who's leading the charge with five goals the result of his natural attacking instincts. Tassios and teammate Con Butzianis are knocking loudly on Eddie Thompson's door for some international exposure. Butzianis in particular in top form and rapidly becoming the country's leading free-kick expert. Well, have the Melbourne Knights got what it takes to stop the South Melbourne machine from marching on? Three points ahead of Souths on the table. Souths with two games in hand. A win more vital to the Knights here, certainly from the point of view of the boost to the players' belief in themselves, as well as the ability to continue at the top of the Coca-Cola Soccer League. Victory to Marconi last night. Puts Marconi just one point ahead of the Knights. They started strongly here, and it's a corner. Trzewski to take it. The breeze is behind South Melbourne in this first half. In swinging corner, it's a good ball in, and what a fantastic start for Mark Viduka. Less than 60 seconds on the clock. beginning here for the home side. Kuczewski with the corner. And the big man Viduka came in on the near post and powered his header past Anastasiados. Brilliant goal and a brilliant stop. I'm sure Francis Awaratifi can expect some treatment like that coming back to the club that he served for several seasons. Durakovic. Viduka takes over. Oh, well played, Viduka, using his body. He is very strong. Oh, and that's got to be a free kick by Diamichis. And Gutsiulis goes down and he wants more than just a talking to from the referee. So at this stage, no cards have been removed from the pocket. That's the challenge. It was obviously late. But no real damage done to Angie Gutzioulis. Taken quickly to Hassler. Tried the shot. It's now Gutzioulis. Muskets out wide, but his touch let him down, and there's two on to two here as Bria Basic has got Viduka outside him. Mark Viduka. Kraczewski on the far post. Wade facing him up. Viduka taking his time, too long in fact, because Polak was able to come back and support his defence. He certainly looks confident though, the youngster. Just putting his foot on the ball then, just waiting for some mistakes from the defender or perhaps a gap to open. Recently appointed captain of the Australian under-20 team to go to Nigeria in 1995 for the World Under-20 Championships. Australia, of course, making the final of that international tournament in Venezuela last month. Viduka top scorer in the tournament. Some defending to do now, though, for the home side. Butsianis with the free kick. The angle not appropriate for one of his specials, so it'll be a traditional cross inside. Cleared, though, by Savinsky. Out wide to Musket. Plenty of players still forward for South. The lofted ball in, flicked on. Trimboli's underneath it. And that is a penalty. 
to South Melbourne. And complaints all round from the Melbourne Knights defence. Even the coach is up on his feet. He can't believe it. And John Santa Isabel has made a controversial decision, which we'll get another look at here. And there it was. You could see the elbow of Andrew Ma into the back of the striker's head. And it's a good decision from John Santa Isabel. After the ball had gone, the elbow went in on Gutiolis. And it's a penalty to South Melbourne. And the dead ball expert, Konbutsianis, is the man entrusted with the job of equalising for South. And there's plenty going on off the ball between Awaratifi and Varnas as well. Jostling for a position close to the penalty. And this has all gone behind the back of John Santa Isabel, who's been talking to David Miller. And Miller's name's gone into the book. It's all happening here at the Croatian Centre while we're waiting for this penalty to be taken. Conversation between Awaratifi and Varnas. But now it's Butzianis against Miller. And that's 1-1. One, one. And it's the sixth goal of the season to come, Butzianis. And he celebrates with Musket. And he kept his head in a difficult situation. And that's an unfortunate situation too because... Missile's been thrown from the crowd and Butsianis has gone down. Of well, the celebrations from Butsianis, we're right in front of some of the home crowd. They didn't like the fact that he'd equalised and they also didn't like the way he was celebrating in front of them. One of them stupidly threw a missile, though. Now, here's the goal. And a fine penalty it was from Butzianis. Miller had no chance. Diamichis now. One of his surging runs forward. He loves to get forward. Fausto Diamichis. Still Diamichis. Maduka. Ma. Talaic is out wide, and here's Diamic just going forward. It's a brilliant turn. Paduka and the shot. Oh, just past the post. And Mark doing the job. Well, the Knights have come out with real spirit in their bellies in the second half. Andrew Mark, the man taking the throne at the moment, scored second goal coming in behind the defence and just poking it past Anastasia Salakis warming up for South Melbourne just wonder who he would be replacing unless there's some injury problems out there still not clear and there's Mark in there and it's gone in and it's Andrew Mark The big man has made up for his mistake in the first half when he conceded a penalty. Quickly, quickly taken. The Duke underneath it with Wade. Too far for Wade. Oh! And a spin. Fooling Anastasiados. It's still not clear. And Guyabasic in the end scuffed his shot. But a let off for South Melbourne. Hasler, the early ball in. Not cleared properly, Tremboli. Now to Laich with a chance. Straight back to Hassler, though. That's been the story of the game in the last 20 minutes or so. And Tassios, can he reach that and pulls it back? Still in play, Tremboli, brilliant save! Outstanding save from David Miller from point blank. And the Knights defence are complaining that the ball went over the line. We couldn't quite see it there, but that was the shot from Tremboli and Miller. Reflex has just parried it away. Play on, says the referee. It'll be an uproar if South Melbourne score here. That's not a bad effort either from Durakovic. My word, what a shot. And that is the last save of what's been an interesting...
enthralling encounter here this afternoon. A whirlwind start for the Melbourne Knights with Mark Maduka scoring a fine header after just one minute. Andrew Mark was the villain temporarily because he gave away a penalty which converts the artist to scratch with ease. 1-1 one, one at half time. And it was the second half where the Melbourne Knights really showed their true spirit. Andrew Mark scoring the winner with a left foot shot getting in behind Paul Wade to put the Knights 2-1 ahead.